What's up you guys, welcome back to the garage. Today, we are gonna be starting body work on Sheldon's car. As you guys know, his Subaru is in all colors. We got blue, we got gray, we got white, we got a lighter gray, and of course we have the black. He wants his car black. Um, it is not a solid black, it has some metallic in it that you can only see under the light. But there's a lot of areas that need to be fixed, like right here and like the roof the hood is golden but there is a lot of areas that need to be fixed so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start <clears throat> excuse me we are gonna start with the fenders he has a little ding right here that he wants me to try to pull so i'm gonna try to do that and also on the other side it's kind of dark over here but we'll give it a shot on this side there is this line and there is this right here so i think i'm gonna go ahead and tackle the driver's side first and i'm gonna try to see if i could uh fix these little dings and then after that we'll go ahead prep the fenders take them completely off and probably start laying some paint within the next 24 hours his fenders should be ready for paint so let's just go and get into this video I got the car more towards the center and we are going to go ahead and hit this with some sandpaper and take it down to the bare metal where these creases are. So I'm going to go ahead and start hitting everything with some 180 grit, all these areas right here and we'll work from there. Sorry you guys, I had to switch to my phone because the GoPro died. So this is where I'm at right now. I'm knocking everything down to the bare metal with some 180. This is the reason why I said not to use any kind of liquid or anything because we are knocking this all the way down to the bare metal. The last thing we want is rust to start forming. I'm not a professional. I'm telling you right now, I am not a professional, okay? So this is just a hobby that I do. So, just in case a real body man gets in here, just so he's warned. But either way, this is the way how I do it, and the way how it's always been successful. So I'm going to continue to sand down all of this down to the bare metal. I'll probably go up to here, from here to here, because there's this other part right here. And then we'll start laying a little bit of body filler on here just to make it even I got the area knocked down pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with some paint thinner and a clean paper towel I'm gonna clean the whole panel right now and then we'll go from there I wish I had the GoPro then I could go ahead and time-lapse a lot of these things but like I said I'm recording out of my phone I'm going to go ahead and get another paper towel. We're going to go ahead and lay a little bit of Bondo. This is the stuff that I got. Just a little bit like that. It goes a long way. And make sure that you guys let that paint thinner flash off before you guys lay that uh, Bondo on there. Otherwise, it's going to flake off. You're gonna have some kind of crazy reaction. But I'm gonna go ahead, put a little bit of this stuff on there. The cream hardener. That's plenty right there. That's pretty much it. Some very, very thin coats. And look at all that I have left over. I'm telling you, a little bit goes a long way. So now I'm just going to leave that on there. I'm not going to wipe it off. I'm going to let it dry for about five minutes, and then the whole thing will just peel off. It's actually kind of satisfying to peel that off, just to let you guys know. But that's just me. <laughs> We're gonna let this dry and we'll come back 
like in 20 minutes to check on it. Back in business with the GoPro. And let me show you guys the progress so far. This thing that was here is gone. I don't see it anymore. And on this side, let me tell you guys that I think I overdid it with the with the cream a little bit, but um, what happened was that I laid a little bit too much on here and I started to spread it and I didn't want to just pick it up because I thought it was going to leave like a really big like bead behind. So I tried to lay it even and then I tried to spread it to the other side where it had the other ding. And yeah, so I'm going to have to like sand off a bunch all around. But it's okay. I'm not a professional and I learned from my mistakes. Um, I went ahead and while we're waiting on that to dry because that's taking forever to dry. I should have laid a little bit more hardener than what I did. We're gonna go ahead and clean up his bumper. I already took the two pieces that go on each side. They're up there. So these pieces go on the side of the bumper. We're gonna go ahead and get her cleaned up right now. I'm gonna lay uh, some super clean and then hose it down. And we're gonna start scuffing her. So I have started sanding and what I am doing right now is wherever I see like a little scratch or some kind of imperfection, I'm hitting it with 180 to smooth it out. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to hit it with 320 and hit the whole thing with 320 and keep stepping it up. Like this right here, it's like a little spider crack I could say because it looks like it's like, like spider webbing around and then it's got like a little little thing right there indentation so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna sand it and completely make it fade away and there you go you can still see a little tiny line but that line will disappear once i lay my primer and i lay uh the base coat and remember we still got to step it up with a whole bunch of different grits of sandpaper it got dark on me but we do have a little bit of progress i went ahead and i laid the second coat on the fender i'm going to show you right now right here so now all i gotta do is sand it tomorrow and i went ahead and i started sanding one of the pieces that came off the bumper this one sanded uh with 180 320 and 400 so far and i gotta do that same process with everything so we'll go ahead and continue this vlog tomorrow it'll be day number two in a few seconds what's up you guys today's day number two and i just took the civic out and i drove her around a few times let her idle and she's running really good zero leaks all we're waiting on is to get tuned. Besides that, let's continue with the Subaru. Red on that beat, going crazy.
I hit everything with 180. Um, it was easier to lay it on the floor to do the sides and do the bottom piece. Right now I put it back on here and we are gonna go ahead and hit the whole thing with 320 right now. I hit the whole fender with 320. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the glazing compound and I'm gonna go ahead and just go over this. Just in case if there's any like pinholes or anything, it fills in anything. Like you can see a little bit right here, let me show you. You can't really see it, but you can see tiny little dots. That's what we're gonna fill in. Also, I noticed this spot right here. Right here. That little spot could be filled in. And now I got my glazing putty right here. This is what it looks like. And this is gonna fill any little cracks, any little pinholes, anything left from the bundle that has to be uh, filled. Also, any little spots that you see on, on your vehicle, any little rock chips or anything, this will fill it in. So I'm gonna go ahead, I like to squeeze a little bit out first onto something else. Just to clear out the way of any nastiness or anything. And now you gotta work fast with this because this thing, it dries very, very fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit like that and start to work it in the spots. And remember, this is all gonna be sanded down afterwards again. So I'm gonna wipe this off. And let me tell you that within the minute, this will start to dry off on here. So you gotta make sure you gotta wipe it off with the napkin or something. Um, it's not gonna be ready for like around 20 minutes or so where I'll be able to start sanding it. Supposedly, it's pretty instant within like five to 10 minutes, it says that it's ready. But no, it's not. They're lying. It takes about 20 minutes and then you can start sanding. So let's go over here and do that one spot. So here's the little tiny spot. There's also like two little pinholes right here and another one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this on there. That's pretty much all you do. We're gonna wait around 20 minutes and we'll come back and start hitting all this with some 400 grit sandpaper. You can see that it's already starting to flash off in some areas. You can see that it's changing color, but this compound is really soft, so you'll be able to sand um, anything that you put on there that, that was too thick. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side because it has to be all sanded and we gotta wait on this. So I'm just gonna start sanding this side. I'm not gonna show you, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get to it. I'm ready to call it a day. I went ahead and I took off the fender and it's over here now, just drying. I went ahead and I put some glazing compound wherever I thought it needed it. And this fender has been drying for like the past hour. You guys can see that it already flashed except for like this line, it still looks a little bit darker. And the same thing down here, except for like this little area, it still looks a little bit darker. So I can't even start sanding that because otherwise it'll be like when toothpaste starts to dry it'll get like that texture and all, all i'll do is just like smear it um i started on this on the front bumper 
I went ahead and I removed the STI sticker that was on this side. I got to remove the one on that side. But I am completely out of sandpaper. Um, I'm using 320 for this. So I used 180 at first. And the 180, I used it to like remove like big scratches. So like all these areas that look like kind of whitish. That's where I went down with the 180 to remove uh, scratches. And then I went ahead and I hit it with the 320 to smooth it out and i ran out of the 320 so i still need 320 so i can hit this whole bottom piece right here and i still got to hit that side over there and i believe i got to hit the bottom of this and all the little edging but it's looking pretty good i'll start this vlog tomorrow probably either at the store getting the paper or in the garage one of the two i'll see you in another second again Today's the next day. I already went to Walmart. I got some sandpaper. I got some uh, 180 and 320, some 400 and some 600. So I was like the second or third person at Walmart this morning, but we are ready to go. You guys can see what this is looking like. It's completely dry. It's ready to be sanded. So is this one. This was all little pinholes. So you guys can remember all little pinholes that I that I try to fill in with that. But I'm gonna go ahead, start sanding. Um, we're gonna hit everything with 320 since that's what I hit all this with. We're gonna hit this also with some 320. After that, we'll go ahead, clean everything, and we'll use some of this stuff to clean it. And then we're gonna lay some primer. And what we're gonna do is lay some self edging primer because there is some bare metal right there, right here. And I'm gonna spray a little bit right here. And we're gonna see if there's any more imperfections once that uh, primer dries up. If it's looking good, we'll go ahead and hit everything with some 400, some 600, and it'll be ready for primer for some high build primer I would say <laughs> it's been a few hours and the front bumper is ready for some filler primer and I went ahead and I hit everything with 180, 360, 400, 600. We're gonna lay the primer and then we're gonna hit everything with the 800 and then we're gonna go ahead and lay paint on it. Same thing with all, both of those pieces. Both of those pieces go to the front bumper on each corner. And then both of the fenders, the same thing was done to them. I went ahead and I laid some self etching primer in any little spots that uh, were bare metal. But besides that, the dings are pretty much gone. And it's looking good. I can't wait to lay the primer down. This is a pretty long video, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it here. I'm gonna slap all these pieces together that I recorded, and I will get you a video uploaded. So I guess I'll see you guys on my next one. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later. And remember, smash that like button for me. Thank you. Oh, that's fine.